Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing something super fun. A lot of you loved when I made that big bear charm in one of my last videos, so I got some more stuff, and we're going to be doing something sort of similar today. So I've been tagged quite a few times on TikTok in videos where people are making jewelry out of poly gel, and I thought that sounded so fun. So that's what we're basically going to do today. I'm gonna to show you a couple examples really quick of what we're doing and making sure that these people get the credit because they definitely thought of it. So one thing I did just want to put out there before we start is when I was reading some of the comments, some of them were talking about contact dermatitis that you can get from nail supplies and the chemicals in it. So that is just something you do want to keep in mind if you chose to do something like this. One of the types I'd probably have the biggest issue with that is the rings that we're gonna make, but I'm also gonna make some like necklaces and earrings that wouldn't be touching your skin really, unless you know it's like on your chest, but if you wore it like outside of your shirt or you know they were just dangling, it would really touch so I just want to put that out there to be careful with nail products touching your actual skin even when you're doing your actual nails you want to be careful that you're not touching your skin with them because it can cause you know reactions and contact dermatitis and stuff like that if you are worried about that make sure to look into that before you do anything like this so other than that let's get started so I got a ton of stuff and I went to a craft store again and I got even more molds and I am so excited let's get into it so first of all, look at how short these nails are. Look how cute the gummy bears on them there are though. Cute. Anyway, so I am going to start off with a ring. So what they say to do is find a smooth piece of something that fits it. So this one seems a little small and this one seems a little better, like a little more fitting. And since it's smooth, the poly gel should not stick to it. You should be able to get it off fairly easy. This is the first ring my husband ever gave me. So I'm gonna use one of my poly gels from my kit. This kit is like 99% sold out. If you are in Canada, there's a couple dozen of them left. So I will leave the link for that down below for the McCart Canadian site. But other than that, they are gone. But yeah, still, if you're in Canada, that's the last chance for you to get them. So basically we're just going to squeeze and twirl. And you know, I'm still making a ring, even though you do have to be worried with them, because I do think it still could be really cute for even just like if you're showing a picture of your nails, like just have like that on really quick for a picture to match. I think that would be really, really cute. And I'm just going to mold this into shape as I would with like a regular poly gel nail. And we will file it and stuff like that so it can get a little smoother. If you wanna make your own like charms and stuff for it and say like you just have so much nail supplies like me, you could always just buy like really, really, really basic rings and then make your own charms and like decorations for them because then the thing that would be really touching your skin is the metal. Okay, I think we're looking good so far. You know, I don't know how strong these are. We'll try to break one. How about that? Let's do that. We'll try to break one and see if it's like just gonna snap in half. I'm trying to work on my posture and I feel like I'm like already shaking. Oh, it's so sad. Okay, so I actually think that's okay. So I'm gonna pull out, actually I'm gonna just zoom you guys out and we're gonna put it in our lamp and I'm just going to roll it so it can cure. And then right away, I'm just going to wipe it off with some rubbing alcohol because that is not a good feeling, it being sticky. So I'm gonna try to just, nope, okay, oops. And then I'm gonna try to just pull it off. Ooh, it's coming. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's fully cured on the inside. So once we pull it off, we should probably stick it in there to cure again. All right, now I'm gonna wipe the inside because it's probably all gross and sticky once again. And we have the ring, I mean, okay. I mean, it's going. All right, so now I'm going to file it. Okay, so I have filed this down. It's like looking pretty legit. I feel like this is just fun too. It's like arts and crafts, but still nails. Let me wipe off my actual hands because I feel like they always look so crusty in the camera from all the dust. All right, we have a ring. Now let's go on and make some charms. So I got 
this new mold. Look at how cool. And they even have like, I can obviously fill this in, but like little holes and stuff like that. So we could attach them with jewelry and stuff like that. That is so cool to me. I want to make a yellow charm to go on this. And you guys are a thousand percent right. This can totally be done with acrylic as well, especially for like the nail charms. I just like how I'm able to have as much time as I need when I work with gel and stuff like that because unless you're really, really good at acrylic, it's kind of hard to like really get it perfect. Wow, look at how bright this one, New York City. I bring this one out all the time because I love it. So I'm gonna basically do the same method-ish that I did for my teddy bear in one of my last videos. I'm gonna mainly just put like the color in there and then I'm gonna fill it with a clear and then I could just wipe off the top like so. So I'm gonna just stick this in my lamp now. So we have one layer in there. I'm gonna do one more to make sure that it's not like splotchy or whatever. Okay, perfect. We'll pop that into cure again. Alrighty, so we have our color in there and now I'm just going to put some clear gel in there and just squeeze that on in like so. So the reason, again, I do the clear instead of like making the entire thing this color is because it might have a little bit of a harder time curing if that entire thing is poly gel. But I know for a fact that it will cure if I, you know, mainly do just the color on the outside and then from the top, it can cure with the cure, with the cure, with the clear. Also, like I can see if there's air bubbles like that. I'm gonna, all right. And then once again, I'm just going to wipe off that top and voila, and let's set it into cure again. Okay, let's pop this baby out. Ooh, it's coming out so easy. <gasps> So cute. Okay, splotchy. She be splotchy. All right, all right, but, but, I mean, what we always can do is paint on it afterwards as well. So I'm just going to use this as a little thing so it doesn't stick to my paper background. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to paint it over top. This is just going swimmingly. All right, and we have a little charm, kinda. All right, and I'm just gonna clip off any excess. And then I'm gonna file the bottom. I recommend for any big charms, especially if you're putting them on your nails, to like score or file the bottom before you put it on because that'll help it stick. If things are smooth on smooth or even like one side smooth, it won't stick. It needs that like texture. Now for our ring. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I will touch it up afterwards, but I'm basically just going to stick it like so. So I'm just going to put a small glob of gel like that. Then we will stick the charm on and then we will cure it. And I'm just going to wipe everything off, make sure that everything is dust free. You know what? Hold up. Here we go. Ooh, a little tight there, girl. But that's fine. <laughs> it's gonna freak you guys out if I work like this. <laughs> her hand needs to be cleaned though. Okay, I'm gonna clean her up a little bit. That's the only thing I don't like about like this sort of materials. It just, everything sticks to it, especially glitter, dog hair. The next, I'm going to take these stars from the cart and I'm gonna just put like two small itty bitty dots on the side so we can put some stars. I'll stick with yellow. Now I'm gonna just top it all with like a matte top coat. So nice, she doesn't complain about where I need her hand to be. I don't have a name for her yet. Let me know if I should name this hand. Then now that I've done the outside, I'm gonna do the inside. I'm sure there's some sort of coating we could put on these to actually make them safe to wear. Let me know if you have something you think I could put like around that actually make it safe so that like the nail chemicals like won't touch your skin. So like you could still make it out of and have the colors and the charms and you know, sort of DIY it while still being able to actually wear it like without worry, let me know. Okay, and then moment of truth. Ooh, a little tight on me. Wow, that's so fun, isn't that? I mean, it's a little tight on this finger. You could always just like file the inside too if you need it to be a little bit bigger. This one's a little snug, but I can still get it on and off. How fun, isn't that so fun? Okay, so let's move on to something else. Okay, let's try to make some earrings. I got these ear wires at a craft store. And since these have holes in them, we can definitely do that. So I also got these like resin tools and mixing thing because, why is it floppy? I mean, I guess, anyway. And these are made for resin. Essentially, gel is a type of resin, but do not put just any type of resin on your nails. <laughs> that is so not safe. Gel is like cosmetic 
resin, but this little thing being silicone will allow us to actually be able to mix things. So I am just going to squeeze a bunch out. I know also probably some of you feel like this is wasteful for me to do, but I mean, reality is I have so much nail supplies. You know, if I can do this and at least provide some entertainment or some happiness to your day, it's worth it. I unfortunately cannot go through all of the nail supplies I have and will continue to get. Okay, so we got our gel in there. I'm going to add some gold flakes. Not a ton, just a couple. And some sort of glitter. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this Kiara Sky glitter. I think it's so pretty. Just like the purple hollow, like wow. So I'm just gonna use like a nail scoop worth. I would like to make that an official measurement, by the way. A nail scoop, can we make that happen? How will that we make that happen? I do not know. And voila. Okay, so now, make some triangles right yeah let's make a triangle and remember this has like that little hole there so that we will be able to attach it but you do want to make sure that you get it all down in there and that you're not going to be like missing part and i'm just going to also give that a second to level out like smack it down a few times that definitely helps and then i'm just going to wipe off the top here like you can file this, but if we don't have to, that would be amazing. And then I'm again, just gonna leave it for a second so it can just sort of level out. All right, so this looks good. So now I'm gonna put it into cure and I'm letting these cure for like at least a minute. We wanna make sure that they are solid and that nothing is uncured. Alrighty, moment of truth. Oh, it comes out so nice. That's so satisfying. <gasps> fun. Look at how fun that is. And there's that perfect hole there. Once again, I'm gonna sit that on there. All right, let's just top coat what we can. Luckily, I have my own nails to use as tools. Here. Okay, let's just cover the back now. Okay, now we have our little charm. It's not sticky or anything since we did put top coat on it. Look at these little connectors that I got. They're so cute. I know I literally get everything because it's cute, but if I'm gonna live, I might as well have things that make me happy around. Okay, so because I am not a jewelry maker, I totally did not get all the right stuff, but luckily I have a couple things from other jewelry that I can repurpose. Okay, so to be honest, it's been quite a struggle to find one that'll fit because it's actually pretty thick. Oh, I did it though. I did it. Okay. And then just slip it onto this. Obviously, I should have gotten some different stuff, but we're past that now. I am not going out today. Mm -mm. Um, have you ever broke a pair of cuticle clippers? That's okay. I've been using these ones for quite some time to clip off all of my nails and they definitely do break over time. So obviously, just pretend that didn't happen. And voila. We have an earring. I mean, for the first attempt, it's not bad. Also, the nice thing about cleaning these out is you can just cure them and then it just like literally pops out all of it. How nice is that? So next, I kind of want to redeem myself with the teddy bear charm because a lot of you told me it looked like a pig. So let's make a teddy bear because I it got a little complicated with just like where the eyes were and where the ears were and stuff like that. So let's retry that. These are the eyes, like these little pockets in here. Those are the eyes and I want them to be purple. Okay, they're eyes this time. Then a little pink nose along with some little pink toes. Okay, okay, cute. Did I get the ears? <sighs> you know what, no, I'll do some pink on the ears, okay? Okay, there we go. That's looking much more like a bear, in my opinion. Now we're just going to paint the inside brown all over. Okay, so I cured that. I'm gonna do another layer. And again, you can totally paint this afterwards. I just think it looks like good and sleek if it's done like built in, if that makes sense. Built in. Yeah, I guess built in is the right word for that. And then now we're just going to fill that with gel again. Alrighty, time for the best part. Let's see how we did. Okay, that looks better than last time, right? I think it does. The toes are a little off, but it's fine. And the edges are just peeling off fine. Do a little top coat on them. Into the oven he goes. Okay, and then I have this little loop that I'm going to attach to my bear. And so to attach it, I'm just gonna attach it using gel because I just am. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to hold 
this in there while I cure it. Okay, I actually found curing this with a little light is a little bit easier just so it can stick on before we do anything else. Then I'm gonna attach it to this little necklace. Okay, here's our bear. So attach, oh, that gold does not match at all. That's fine. And then we'll try the middle piece. I'd say it's about here. And here we have it. Watch, ready? Okay, let's put it on. And there we go. Super cool. Got a little bear charm necklace. I need better O-rings to attach things with because right now I'm just like repurposing jewelry that I don't wear anymore. Okay, hi, hello. So it's been a couple days and I had some time to think and I was vastly underprepared for what I would need. So um, naturally I went on Amazon and I bought some more supplies so I can actually make some much better charms and stuff for this stuff because I definitely did not buy the correct earring studs and like O-rings and anything I needed. I, none of it was right, none of it was right. And I definitely didn't even have pliers to work with. And you know, these nails can definitely double as chopsticks or like stabbing things. They can't double as pliers. So let's do some more stuff. I also found that same mold that I was using and it had like that little holder, but without the hole. So now we can make some other stuff and I'm ready. I'm like way excited because I got a bunch of different stuff now. Yeah, let's get started. This was a little kit I just bought on Amazon. It came with, with the string, a couple pliers, some like pre-done rings. So, so like I can already just put like a charm on them and call it good. It doesn't really fit. Oh yeah, it does. It does fit my finger. Cool. Oop, no, I can't get it off. Just kidding, I can. So uh, let's do that. I'm gonna get these pliers out. That way I can hold things. Here we go, this is what I needed. Alrighty, so you all know how I was talking about with like that like contact dermatitis and stuff with the ring. So I don't see why we couldn't put a charm like right here. Let's try it. Another ring. I mean, again, we can totally just like make the ring out of entirely poly gel like that. Like super cool. I love how that looks. Let me know if I should start with not like every set because obviously sometimes my videos have um, a mind of their own. But if you guys want me to maybe start making like a little ring to match the set for like my little end shot, let me know. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this powder. This is like an iridescent powder. And I'm just going to dab some on like that. And then let's put it maybe in like this heart one. And I'm gonna try to just like rub it in there like so. Also, I don't know if I already talked about this, but this was just also something I was thinking about the other day is if you guys are like, why don't you just buy like jewelry making supplies? Well, my problem is I like always do too many hobbies and that's why I can never keep up like with what I'm doing is I always try to do so many different things. I'm like, oh, I want to redo my house. And then I go antiquing and I find antiques I want to redo. And then I want to do my hair stuff. And then I want to do my nail stuff. And then I want to do my dog stuff. And I like have so many things I want to do. So the last thing I want to do is try to get into like another hobby when I kind of have like stuff to already do it with. Like, is this professionally stuff? No, but it's just for me. So it's fine. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a top coat on this so we can see seal in the little powdery powder. And oh my gosh, you guys would probably literally die if you saw my vanity room or my workspace. Like it's so bad with just so many different things. Alrighty, so we have this. So now I'm gonna take this pink jelly gel from a cart. This is like my favorite one. Look at how pretty. I'm just going to put just like a nice layer like that. Cure it. Honestly, someone needs to just like lock me in this room for like a week and not let me out until it's clean and organized. Anyway. All right, so we have that mostly filled. Let's fill it in completely now. And I'm just gonna do that with some top coat. Boop, 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 boop. Honestly, it looks pretty to me. Okay, I'm gonna cure it one last time. Okay, moment of truth. Is it gonna pop out? Ooh, it is. Oh, look at how pretty. I think that's pretty. This is such a cute little charm. Okay, this is go. Mm. No, I don't think it does. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another ring like out of poly gel. Ooh, it is cold in here. And I'm gonna do it out of this pol. I'm gonna do the ring, the poly gel ring out of poly gel. Ooh, I should go put this under some warm water or something. But I'm actually just going to use a makeup brush this time for the little rounded bit, so. Ah! Okay, let's just shape this. I clearly did not do a great job of going in a straight circle. 
Okay, second one is a little bit easier once you kind of get the hang of like which way you need to go and how to smooth it out and stuff like that. Okay, so I think the rest of this will be fine just being shaped and filed afterwards. So let's just do one last evening out and we'll cure it. Okay, and then we're gonna wanna wipe it off cause it's going to be sticky. And it... <clears throat> and then you'll have your ring. <laughs> Then you're gonna take your e-file. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit easier to do it this way. I will finish off probably with a hand file, but I just feel like an e-file is so much faster. This one from Car, this is the Stephanie one. It's been really working really well for me. Just cleaning this off with some rubbing alcohol now. Okay, and then now I think I'm gonna put this charm on here. So to do that, I'm gonna just put a little bit of gel here and then let's stick this piece on. All right, and so here it is before we top coat it. Let's top coat it now. I'm gonna top coat the entire thing. I'm gonna just start with the charm and sort of the outside top. You definitely have to go in stages for this because you can't just like do the whole thing and hold it like that. Then once that part's done, we can do the rest of it. Last but not least, we will do this and the inside. And here we have it. Let's see, does it fit? It does. Actually, it's pretty cute. I like it. Fun. Okay, so we're back to this. So, okay, so I'm gonna start by placing a bit of top coat here and here just so we can get a little bit of glitter or like whatever little things we want to stick in there to stick. My choice is actually going to be some flowers. So I'm gonna put a little bit more just to make sure that we're like really setting a foundation for it. Okay, then some flowers. Not quite the same size, so that's okay. And then next I'm gonna put a little bit of this gel, what I think is gonna be enough to like fill up the thing. And I'm gonna take some of this gel polish. This one is like just a little bit sparkly and a little bit of color, but not too much. There we go. Then I'm just going to mix those together. Honestly, this is not really an efficient stirring stick. Like I know the point is so that like you can clean it off and stuff, but like. In to cook and we'll just fill this in really quick okay ready this is my absolute favorite part of this is like un failing oh, that's cute let's see the other one it's like uh-huh yeah let's not focus on your crusty fingers and look at these how cute okay what I should probably do really quick is top coat these because you can already see my fingerprints in them Okay, so now I'm just going to little nip off any little edges. And here we go. Honestly, I mean like, I know we're like making jewelry right now, but let me know if you guys want me to just do a video just making a ton of like different charms and stuff for your nails. Cause I mean, that's essentially probably like what I'll end up really using most of this for is just making my own charms like I did with the bear. I feel like all oh, these could be like really cute on nails as well. Obviously the chunky nails are not for everyone, but if they are for you, it can be fun. And then I got these, obviously these are 100% not going to be good quality. I don't know what exact metal they're made of. I'm sure it says on like the listing, but if you have like a sensitivity to a certain metal, obviously this will probably not be good for you. But as someone who doesn't, I don't think I have any like metal allergies or anything like that. So I'm gonna carefully open this because wow, what a nightmare would it be if I dropped it? You know what? This is where these pliers are gonna come in handy. 
Okay, and then to set these on there, I feel like potentially they could fall off of the metal if they're put on with like gel. So I'm gonna use this Jenny Secret Crystal Adhesive. I did like test this stuff recently and I'm honestly a little disappointed in how it held. Both of these fell off. I re like glued them and like I've had a ton of the gems fall off. It is really strong, but I thought it was gonna be a tiny bit stronger if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on there and just hold it until it dries. Okay, I'm gonna let that one. Now we're gonna grab one more. Alrighty, y'all, let's do this. So I got some earrings now. Oh, here's how my ears healed up after like a while after the reconstruction, by the way, they look pretty good. It's just a little hard to find the hole for them though. Cause it's like in the scar. I might need a mirror. Wow. Hmm. Okay, not quite as pretty as I was thinking they would be. The color choices were a choice for sure. But I mean, technically I did it. <laughs> Yes, I have pimple patches all over my face. And then this is the little charm that I was originally making an earring out of, but yeah, that didn't work because I didn't have like the right jewelry or whatever to hook it on. Um, so I did only end up making one, but I'm still going to save this for the future in case I wanna use it. I think I literally might just start making all kinds of little charms sometimes. You know, sometimes you just kind of like feel like doing a little something without taking on like a huge project, like a full set of nails and stuff like that. So I might just like start making these little charms just to use like in the future, just sort of like a little activity. Activity. Once again, here was our little bear charm. Not a pig, a bear this time. Then I feel like stuff like this would just be more like crafty than like nail arty. It's just getting like giant rhinestones and stuff like this and being able to just like glue them on here. So here's an example of like, if you just wanted to glue some sort of like charm you made or whatever, this obviously would not touch your actual skin. And so you could easily just make your charm with your nail stuff or whatever, and then put it on your finger. All right, I know I need to wash her hands and get all the dirt off, but let's see if this one fits her a bit better. Nope, this one does not fit her either. Well, how about here? Kinda. There we go. All right, and that's the end of today's episode of what am I doing, what is happening, and I'm a mess. Sorry for like the scattered of this video. I know it's kind of all over the place. It wasn't exactly nails. Didn't exactly probably do my absolute best work. I've been having kind of like a rough week and it's all my own fault, but nonetheless, it's been rough. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really love making these charms. You guys will definitely start seeing me incorporate this sort of stuff into my nail sets a lot more. Give this a like if you enjoyed it or if you want me to just do a long video making a bunch of different little charms and decals and stuff like that. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time, bye.